Hello and welcome back to Nasty Nate, Plant Exterminator in the Farm of Doom. And I'm over here at the house build day 345. So we're going to take a look and see what we've got going on here besides Cielo sweeping. Again, this is the, the kitchen. I was actually crossing through here through the bathroom and there was a some kind of venomous snake I stepped over. They killed it yesterday. I didn't want to kill it if it wasn't venomous. I'd like to make the farm a sanctuary for non-venomous snakes, but the venomous ones have to go. Unfortunately, due to me, small children, and other animals I don't want around those venomous snakes. Cobras and the Oto Oto. And I think and there's another one because that was the other one I don't even know the name of. But we did get this um, door put on. Actually, this door made and put on, so that's like a little storage area. You can put actually under the it's under the stairs. It's a pretty good little space back there. I think it got kind of dark. The rail for the stairs got completed. It's actually pretty nice and solid. We'll go up here. We were leaving this open and it would have been really nice to leave open because of all the light from uh, the three windows here in the stairwell. It's just we got the children, they could fall over the side. We want them taking a dive there. And plus, then we're able to also seal this off and just have another level of security close that, close that up. So in the, in the upstairs here, we do have uh, the door jam in, the door jams for the, for the uh, outside to the patio area, which is the more zone. actually getting that beam in place because all the, the columns there have been poured. We'll take a look at that in a minute. All the safety or security bars for the window are up. That's great. We actually had some folks come in and take a look or not come in but we got some estimates for windows and so we had, they came out. We, we decided on some folks, the same folks that did the bottom floor and they came out, took the measurements, just to make sure, we gave them the measurements, but just to, they, they do it just to make sure. And so they'll come in and get those, we'll have the windows up here coming in. The jam for the closet there, the jam for the, uh, going into the bathroom. Cause this is the bedroom here, with the closet. And going into the bathroom, there's gonna be a sink here, We've got a couple of, Outlets there, a little closet back here, another little linen closet over there. But it is a little, you notice it is a little tight in here, but that's just how, how the design went down. We got the bathroom, or the, this is the shower area, which is a nice big shower area. It's gonna have a little bench for putting things on and some, and some uh, like towel racks and we're, we're getting going on the, the tiling on that, which would be great to have this. Uh, the top floor tile but would be like another another prop. So it's good to, that one's moving on it. The toilet is gonna be over on this side. We, we did go, we went to, uh, ended up getting the tiles from Wilcon. Oh, no. These tiles, we got all the other tiles except for like the bathroom tiles, the kitchen tiles. Those all came from Wilcom, but these tiles are the floor tiles and they are, it's just something that, that uh, City Hardware was better on. They had a higher quality floor tile. Uh, it's a porcelain tile and it was a, at a better price. 
So we went with, uh, over to City Harbor for those four pounds. This is going to be my little kind of the office area. And this is the patio of what's going on out here. Made progress on that as far as the columns are poured going across the back. I think that last one has, still has the the. Uh, the form work on it and it's and that wall that's coming up that's actually going to be the, the floor where it comes up level but then it also has an area that comes up like four hollow blocks will be like a little seating area on the perimeter of the patio and also kind of encloses it. I can go down and take a look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, the sweeping is still going on over here. Take a look at the the columns here. And it'll all get more more concrete. They already have a huge concrete at the bottom because there is a beam below the below the uh, four inch hollow block there that connects those. That's got a lot of concrete in it already. And then this this concrete be a huge concrete block for the. It's the foundation. It's big and solid. So that is good. And we have the one stairwell in the house, but there's also going to be a stairwell uh, out here. And I think it's, it's going to be about right there, right there. And we were looking at having a little comfort room in there, but I think we might switch that because the the stairwell is going to be here, and it's a fairly large stairwell. And we could just have the CR underneath that stairwell. This is kind of a nice size patio. This will be on the back. Um, it's got a great view. And that'll be on the uh, first floor and the second floor. So it'll be basically two patio areas. We've got to get rid of all this big mounds of dirt because it's actually going to be four inches below. Right now it's kind of level with going into the house. But notice that it's blowing in a lot of dirt because we're up here on the top of the hill so we do get some wind. But it's just, so we're going to go ahead and it's going to be the patio on the first floor here is going to be four inches below the door. And I had also talked about some coffee, and I think I showed the coffee that was drying, the coffee berries. We had about four and a half sacks of coffee berries that were drying. And now this is, it's all sacked up and ready to go, but this, this is that, those coffee berries have now dried. Um, and it, has to, it has to be taken to the miller and then it'll be sold. Um, and I'll find out what the per kilo price is on that and see if it was worth it, if it even paid for the labor for the harvester we had collect those. But it just went down after they're dry down to the one sack. So we'll see what comes out. I'll, I'll keep it posted. We're going to go do that later on today. I'll take those over there, get them milled and see what 
the price per kilo is on those coffee beans. And we did because of the second floor, we had to get some more cocoa lumber, which I was hoping just to utilize the cocoa lumber that we had, but we just didn't have enough. And it, that was another big expense but for the scaffolding for the uh, second floor. And underneath the tarps there, that's just sacks of cement ready to go. I need to get more even because when we do the, the pours for the uh, slab, um, first and second floor, we'll need a, a lot of cement for that. Oh, there is, I've shown the, what have I shown? I've shown the, I've got some wind here. I'm gonna try and block the wind from the uh, microphone. Let me see if that helps at all. But the water catchment system over here, which is which is huge. I mean, I mean, a huge thing for the farm. I mean, it's, we've already got the water pumping up, but we need to get the water catchment so we can get the uh, water tank, so we can gravity feed the uh, house over here. But big progress on that. Almost looks like a swimming pool. Wish it, wish it was. Wish it was a swimming pool, but it is. It's it's just as good. It's a water catchment system for the house. And that's. Day 345 on the house build. I'll keep you guys posted on how it goes. What else we've got going on. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.